Hello everyone, this is Budget Are Cool, and you're currently watching my tutorial video on how to draw a running character. Uh, this one will actually be covering... Ugh, sorry, words are hard still. They're always hard. Okay, covering uh, a sprinting character, really fast, and then a jogging character, which is, uh, you know, not as fast. And this is all thanks to Girish Manjunath. I still can't get that last name, but it's, yeah, yeah, that person has requested the armatures tutorial, which uh, is an ongoing thing that I'll be doing in these videos. And also, thanks to Jewel Gaming and Amazing Le Warren for requesting poses, one of which was a running pose. So thank you very much, all y'all. Because without you guys, I have no creation or create, 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 uh, creativity of my own. I have no idea what to draw or why to draw it. So, so thanks to you guys. Thank you. Okay. Um, 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 what was I doing? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah. So for now, I will draw a couple of lines. You can kind of see what I'm doing right now uh, up here. So you can see keys pressed. I just did one line. I will press Q to duplicate. Control T, move it over. Bump, bump, and then Control E. And then Q again, Control T, move that over here, boop, boop, and repeat. Because I am going to make somewhat of a uh, uh, a grid, vanishing point kind of thing, for our characters to be running on. So remember to pay attention to that because that is very important and it kind of tells you what I'm doing and makes it less magical. Even though magic is always wonderful, uh, it's nice to know how to do the magic sometimes. So, that's that. We will uh, cut out the good part of that. Delete that layer, Control V, Control T, and now we have a nice box again. Um, and we'll just move this out again. And I think that's our box. <laughs> okay, that was totally not anything near a tutorial yet, but we will get there. Oh my gosh, I have perspective on. I'm gonna turn that all the way up, I guess. Sure. And then press enter. Okay. So what was I doing? Um, A for airbrush, go over here, go over here. Nope, here, nope, there, okay. Uh, so that is the line on which our characters will be running on. So this is all the way off into the distance and they'll be on that line. So here is our ground. Not the electrical ground, just the regular ground. Now it's print. This will be our sprinting person. Okay, now um, also our ground will separate it in half because one half will be our sprinting character, which will be running after the jogging character. I just want to say to the people who are subscribed to me, um, sorry for just disappearing like that. It's like a consistent thing that I do. But uh, this time I actually had a real reason besides the laziness, which is the typical reason. But this time I had, you know, like an actual one that normal people get. It was a job, a temporary job, which means I will be ending actually uh, in a, several days. I think it ends on like, uh, I don't know, like the seventh ish. I keep asking them when it'll end and they're just like, oh, you know. Try to keep you around a bit longer. We'll see where it goes from there. I'm not trying to mock my my boss people. They're actually super nice. I love that. Uh, but that's just my talking as someone else voice. I guess that's my talking as myself voice too. Um. So what am I doing right now? I drew a circle. As you all know, that's just the thing that I do. And... Uh, I line. <laughs> you see what I did there? I made my. Uh, oh my 
gosh, I still can't do talking. As you know, even though I have a job, I have to communicate with people. It's still hard. Still a complete goofball at work too. And they're just like, <laughs> oh, you guy. You're such a weirdo. But they like me, I think. I, I, unless they're just faking. Actually, I haven't seen some like anyone in two weeks because everyone else is on their their vacation time. <laughs> People with permanent jobs. Weirdos. But uh yeah, they're on their vacation time because they've like accumulated it throughout the year. While I'm just there on my project. Oh, I'm a mechanical technician. Temporary mechanical slash electrical technician right now at an automation company, so pretty fun. Very, very fun. And uh, that's not my major. I have a degree now. I've had one for half a year, but jobs are hard to get. So that is what's happening. Um, did I draw our head huge? I don't know. But uh, here, here's what we will do now. Control Q. I don't think that's actually how you make new layers if you don't configure it. So I'll do it the real way over here. Um, no, over here. Yes. Now, this will be our measure. Tick layer and this is where we will get our head lengths because you know me I love head lengths that is how we get our proportions down and that's how we make a character not look horrendous um, but speaking of horrendous I had to do uh, sorry a uh, thing first let's draw the rest of her neck down and gonna be actually going forward quite a bit her head at least because this one you're full-blown running which means your general uh, angle will be about there um, if you don't know what I'm doing like how I get those lines you just do a dot that'll be your starting point hold shift and then dot where you want that to be yay shortcuts and stuff but this will be my general angle. Um, let's draw the spine. So that'll be. Oh no, wait, spine, 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 spine. Curve there, and then curve back a little bit. And then we'll get our measuring stick. Make sure that we are getting generally the right proportions. So we'll mark that. That, as you guys know, is the booby line the place that I don't talk about very often because I can't talk about it without messing up my words but that's not really a uncommon occurrence anyway so maybe I should just get it over and do a booby tutorial <laughs> no I wouldn't be able to talk at all oh man so um, if you've been watching just now oh my gosh I keep drawing in red when I don't want to um, I just drew there, that's the booby line. Ribs will be around here. This will be the middle of the hips. That's where the uh, joints of the legs are. Hip joint. Hip joints will be right there. Uh, ribs, uh, right around here will be, oh, actually, right between the booby line and the hip joint will be where the uh, skinniest point of the hips are. Actually, I don't know, maybe around here. Don't take my word for it even though I'm making a tutorial, which means you, you want someone who you can take their word for. <clears throat> Things are hard, but I I'll just wanted to tell you guys that this tutorial has been a long time coming. Um, I know I, I like semi-promised a lot of people back in the days, actually, you know, back a couple months ago before I got my job. Uh, that I would have another tutorial coming up real soon, which meant like, you know, mid-November maybe. And uh, real soon didn't really happen. So, yeah, I tried to make this last night also, but my computer was just freaking out. It just did not want any of this. Like, my recording software, 
I, I hope that it's working right now, or else I'm just talking to myself. Um, recording software wouldn't record. Like, it would start, and then it would just stop. I know it wouldn't stop. It wouldn't stop recording. That's what it would do. And then when I, like, you know, control, shift, escape, that, like, the new control, I'll delete. Even though control, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that, I do that end process, and then it's like, nope, 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 that's the corrupted file, you don't like that, that's bad, you don't do that, okay, sorry, um, where's my tutorial, I'm doing a tutorial, um, I wasn't supposed to draw this stuff yet, fleshing out is for later, but I just did some, so it's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it, don't worry, don't worry, okay, so, let's draw the legs first this time, so, um, generally, you find the point, on the spine that's right between the shoulders and take that length put it down here um, with the hips at the center that's the main thing we're drawing the leg which comes from the hip and that's where our knee will be she is super duper fast so we're gonna draw this back there I'm gonna make the ground a little more transparent and maybe draw a little harder <laughs> And uh, yeah, and then this leg, this leg, the what is this? The shin area. What what are those bones? Fe this is the femur. Tip tip tibula. I don't know. Humerus is this. I I don't do anatomy words. I do anatomy proportions. Yay! But okay. But anyway, this parallel to her general uh, body slant. Parallel, I can do parallel. Pa pa, pa pa. Okay, and uh, oh yeah, here's her leg. As for the other leg, it will be down here. It will be pretty much along this line that we drew earlier. And then we will say, hey, she is way too big and to the side. So I just did Control T. I just uh, hold Shift while doing that to get your. Uh, proportions the same aspect ratio is what it's called yeah okay and there is our second leg and this pose she's actually just left the ground she just leapt up and is going to take her next step as for the arms usually they will be about the length of the shoulder to mid-hip. That's where your elbow will be. So we'll draw this one out here. And we'll draw the wrist right about here. So she'll be, uh, this is her right arm. It's on the back, going backwards. And then hand will be generally there. It's a sideways hand right now. And then this arm is the one that gives her that uh, the look that she's pumping her arms, right? And then... <laughs> sorry, I'm, sometimes when I'm trying to explain things, I just end up going, and then this is what I do, and then you do that, and then I did this, and then that's a bunch of arm stuff, and then here's her hand. <laughs> I like how <laughs> as I'm trying to ridicule myself for <laughs> doing bad teaching, I do bad teaching as an example of bad teaching. <sighs> it was a long week. Hey, Happy New Year everyone! It's 2015! Back to the future and stuff. I, uh, Facebook. That's how I know. Make like a tree, get out of here. That's a quote. I just quoted popular reference. Pop, pop ref. I don't know. Um, 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 um. Control T. I'm gonna make her hand a little smaller. Hands should generally be about. Uh, let's see. Wrist to wrist. Do -do 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 -do, two thirds of your forearm. And that's where that is about. Actually, it's a little more. Boom. But she's slightly anime, so we'll put her. Oh, very anime. We'll put her arm at a little more. Control D to deselect things. Remember that, folks. That is something that hangs a lot of people up a lot of the times, including myself when I was learning. 
uh, to use Psy. Oh, actually, you know, going along with uh, uh, my computer freaking out, I actually I got everything ready out on my floor physically for a uh, traditional tutorial, like full-on Mark Curly wannabe style. Like I I had my I I'll, I'm gonna put a picture in here right there, and uh, it. <laughs> I was, I had everything started, like my iPad was there, I was like positioned over my sketchbook and I was going to write things and I was going to draw things. I actually got out this piece of paper over here because I was going to write the thank yous on there, like to the names, Girish and uh, Amazingly and Jewel. Ugh, my gosh, words are still hard. But uh, uh, what did I do? I had to open up my computer again because, you know, it's kind of loud over there, but I had to start it up again so that I could get the names to write down. And then I was like, whoa, I wonder if Hypercam, my recording software, is gonna work. You know, just magically. I was like, it's probably not gonna. And then it did. And now I'm happy. Because I get to do this. I don't have to make a horrible video. Oh, you know. Like, assuming that these videos aren't already horrible, which is quite the assumption, but if people like watching them, I can't call their tastes horrible, so thank you, everyone who watches these. I really do appreciate it. It's a, it's a thing for me to do. It's a thing to keep me creative and drawing. Because uh, without, you know, you guys, fan base of any sort, uh, I don't know. There's that, actually all of this stuff started off as just me finding a place to put my artwork and uh, videos so that I could access them later and so that if my computer or hard drive happened to just completely die I would have somewhere that is backed up and mind you this is all before the clouds there are so many cloud things nowadays it's like oh you have a USB drive? What are you, some kind of internet noob? And that is kind of what I am. Or was. Or still, I don't know. So yeah, that's... That was that, and uh... Suddenly people were just like, Hey you! Budgies are cool! What's a budge bugle? Because the eye looks like an L sometimes. And then I'm like, Oh, it's a parakeet. And then they're like, Hey, cool art, draw more. I'm like, <laughs> approval from random person on the internet and then I just felt good and warm and fuzzy inside and it still happens and I appreciate all of you like really I do though like <laughs> do you ever have that problem where uh you're just talking to someone and then you say something and then they're just like oh my gosh what's your problem and you're like what do you mean and they're like are you so so sarcastic and you're like what I don't mean to be. Like, I say something, like, genuine. It's always something positive, though. Like, positive, genuine thing. And people are like, wow, you don't have to be such a jerk. Or maybe that's just in my head. People don't actually say that. But uh, I'm like, wow, that came off kind of jerkish in my head. No, and not in my head. It sounded good in my head. It sounded bad when it came out of my mouth. And then <laughs> I'm like, I have to add, no, really. When I talk to them, like, for realsies, for seriousness, I appreciate you. And that's exactly what this whole conversation was. It's just me appreciating you guys. Thank you for sticking around, especially in my times of uh, not putting any art out. Oh! Or just talking about my life story for the past, you know, <laughs> several months while I'm supposed to be teaching you how to draw a running character. <laughs> I don't teach things. Okay, so here's a character. There's a... Uh, the foot is off the ground. Going full speed ahead. And now we will uh, lighten up the spine a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we marked this area before. That's the crotch line, right? Which, that means the butt should actually be out a little bit more. But, <laughs> but, but I'm not going to because it looks okay as it is. And now, 
Kind of draw that, make sure it looks good if you continue it, and then take it away. Now, there's the booby line, here's the ribbish line. Well, actually, the ribbish line is over there, but I'm going to move it up a little bit. Um, here, for the character, what I usually like to do is draw surface lines over my the form of the character so that I get a better idea of the anatomy and what's happening. So, as this is, the chest will be about there, and then it'll start going down again. This is the middle line through the body. And now, I'll draw a side line also, because her entire upper torso is rotated around that way a bit as this shoulder reaches out and this shoulder goes back. So, we'll draw this side line, which goes like that, right to the middle of the hip. So you can see some, uh, some twisting is happening over here. And don't draw it too dark like I just did. <laughs> Another thing I like to do is kind of outline where the side of the boobs <laughs> will be. So right there, go right there. Kind of just something that's hanging over her shoulders. That's generally the lines that I follow. And so far she's boobless. We'll get back to that in a second. We, right now, need to draw or flesh out her arms. So, draw over here. That's the elbow. And we'll draw this all the way back there. Pretty much in line with the top of her hand. All horizontal. Now this, go down there and over here. And this comes out just a bit as we get to the torso. Yeah, that's a general uh, rule that I like to follow with my characters that I think looks nice. Is uh, you generally, did I say generally like a bunch of times just now? I don't know. But you, uh, at the joints, get smaller and then get bigger at the middle for the secondary joints, such as the forearm and shin. But for the bicep, oh my goodness, so many texts just at, oh my gosh. Silence! Okay, sorry, I just had to silence everything. Okay, um, what was I saying? These, these, fatter at the base, skinny at the joint. And that tends to look okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue on with this before I get rudely interrupted again by my family, which I love very dearly. I will have to... See, this is why people say I'm bad at responding to things. Like, even your comments. I'm so sorry. I've been, I've been getting, like, worse and worse at that. I even... Oh, my gosh. I was... New Year's resolution, people. I will get better at responding to comments promptly. I do respond to every comment as long as my brain comprehends what you're asking or saying. Uh, or if it needs to be responded to, like if it's an actual question. If not, I'll just kind of... Just goes whoop! Right over my head. And then I forget about it. Which is what tends to happen with all comments at the moment. Because I just have... Okay, the combination of a lot of things going on and not a lot of power processing power in my brain. So, uh, I just drew the booby lines. <coughs> I, mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm alone in the house right now, so I can yell things like this as much as I want. Uh, school will actually start for my roommates in just a little bit. This is actually pretty cool, because uh, the job that I got is in the same city, town, place as the college that I went to, which means I'm in the same house that I was before, except just with, you know, no no furniture because I moved back to my my parents' house when I graduated and then suddenly they're just like, hey, have a temporary job over in the other town. And then I'm like, okay. So I brought my bed and a couple of these blue crates over here and uh, parts of a shelf that makes up my desk. Get this. The, the things down here. This is part of a desk. 
like there's a shelf of a desk. I don't. I'm sitting on the floor right now. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I think what we want to do now is draw her eyes, even though this isn't really part of the tutorial. But I want it to be because I don't know. I like making uh, the short tutorial videos, you know, the ones that are like 20 minutes long. That's good for OCD people. Not OCD people, ADD. I'm the OCD and ADD. I don't know. Apparently, unless you're one of the people who's like, hey, it's a real thing that you're not supposed to refer to unless you know or have it. In which case, I'm an uncultured jerk bag. Sorry. Okay, um, here's a thing that I like to do. Rotate it so that we can see it. Um, I press control tab and tab. I'm pretty sure that's just a custom thing that I made Sai do. I, if you want, I can make another tutorial video on all the customizations, but otherwise you can use these over here. So, this girl is chasing a character, which is essentially me. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Because if you think about it, it's like, whoa, this guy, the only girls that he gets is when he drives, and he has to drive them chasing himself because girls don't do that in real life. <sighs> oh, kid, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is depressing. Okay, um, here, let's draw a little. And then. Is that, is that a thing? No, she looks like she's looking down. And it's too shiny. Way too shiny. Um, oh, it needs to be skinnier in that direction. Okay. Otherwise, I think that makes our character of the girl sprinting type. Um, silence is always a thing. Uh, we'll draw the hair. Oh, we'll do the finishing things actually right now. I'll just uh, do a <coughs> sped up part. Okay. One, two, three, four. Speed! And hello! Um, so what I was going to do here is uh, talk a little more because here's where more of the running motion comes into play. So this is the mid area. This is where a lot of the, the running happens in this area, which means a lot of the clothing will be doing its wrinkly things in this area. So normally, if she was just, I don't know, supermaning in this direction with both arm or with both legs back, the shirt would just be like that, right? But this arm, <laughs> that's not an arm, that's a leg. Did you, did you, were you aware that that thing down there is a leg? I apparently, uh, I'm not. I need more coffee. Do I need? No, I don't need more coffee. It'll just make me more nonsensical. Um, so this, the leg going up. So that means shirt goes up. Also, um, oh, an easy way of getting your character's uh, anatomy to look better. And, uh, you know, to look like it keeps going through as you uh, draw things is to draw these seemingly straight lines that uh, they pretty much mirror exactly the those surface lines that I drew before that give you uh, an idea of the anatomy behind it. So like this one would be down the middle of the shirt, of this unnaturally tight fitting shirt. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll do the side seam also, which will show that she's twisting, but not that much. 
uh, side of her body is right here, so that's right there. Uh, yeah, so from here to this little armpit area, twists down, and then this twists out of view actually. And that's that. As for the skirt, because you know, <laughs> when do I draw girls with loose fitting pants or things like that? Because you know, I. Okay, besides just being a weirdo, uh, <clears throat> I just feel like it's a waste when you draw so much of this, the bottom stuff, and then it just, it just disappears because you're like, oh, go put baggy clothes on. Baggy clothes, baggy clothes. And then, uh, then I feel bad inside because I did all that work for nothing. I wasted that time and effort. Anyway, she gets a skirt because, you know, who wouldn't want to be chased by crazy skirt lady? Girl, lady, girl. I don't know whether to call people, females, girls, or ladies. I'm at that age where I'm not sure what they like to be called and the female friends that I do have are, are awesome and nerdy like me so they don't really care or prefer generally. Actually one of them watches these videos. I'm talking to you, Miss Legend of Zelda. Doesn't like Pokemon, but doesn't mind it either. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I won't mention I don't really, should I, the whole name mentioning thing, remember? Like, I don't know if you remember, because I don't know how long you've been subscribed to me. But I actually like bleeped out my name in one of my beginning videos because I was telling a story and I was like, well, and then it sounded like I swore because I used the actual like tone that television stations use when people swear. And yeah, that was nice. Like when my family watched it, they were like, oh, you swear? Because I, I normally never swear in just normal conversation or just effort, really. I don't, I don't know, just don't see the point in it. <laughs> or, I, no, it's just the way I was raised. So, I don't know. I figure, why build a habit of something that I don't need or not a positive habit either? I don't know, but I have nothing against it. I know like during uh, high school, when everyone started swearing, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm friends with a bunch of sailors. <laughs> They're cuss buckets. Everyone's a cuss bucket. <laughs> and I don't know, I didn't actually cry about it like that, but in my head, I was like, oh my gosh, since when did I be friends with Sting? And... Uh, I'm trying to think of someone who swears a lot, who is famous, but I can't because I can't know. I don't know any famous people, or know of famous people. Sorry, I just, of course I don't know famous people. Um. Uh. What was I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> these lines that I'm drawing right now are just another example of saying, "Hey, this is the form of the person," and well. I guess it's the the time to draw the guy who's jogging. Um, actually, here I'll just do a little bit of erasing of the underlying stuff so we can get a better idea of what the clothes have added. I generally don't like to erase it completely while I'm still doing the sketch, just because uh, if I want to change an article of clothing. I'd like to have the underlying lines still there. Um, here, oopsies. Let's draw some collar bonage. <laughs> that sounded bad. Collar bones. <laughs> uh huh. And ooh, yeah. Let's draw this or erase the roundness of her head back there. Okay, so she is dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Through the fields we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, just, uh, I'm 
Saturday. Hey, I got a new microphone also. That uh, during Black Friday or Cyber Monday actually, because <laughs> I don't leave the house <laughs> when there's crowds with sales. I like sales. I really do like sales. Um, what is this? Runner jog. Run slash jog. Goo goo. See, I said job because I need a job. <laughs> Maybe I should just fast forward this part. Nah, it's okay. I'll provide annotations. Let's put our measuring stick down here. Oh. Uh, full thing. Uh, our guy will have his uh, top of the shoulders will be around here. Here's one shoulder. Here's the other shoulder. We'll take our measuring stick out for now. Um, now we'll draw the spinage area. So he's gonna be kinda, his hip will be going forward. And now we will mark up this area. So here is, the, I don't even know what to call that anymore. It's not a lady, so there's no booby. Uh, peck, peck area, cause you know, cause massive pecs. Working out all day. Oh man. And, um, I generally do the same proportions between guys and girls for my characters, even though they're kind of different, but it's okay. Um, what is this? I'm gonna put this, this will be the leg length. Um, put this here. Where's the hip? Right there. Here's the hip, which means the knee will go here. Measuring stick. Bup, bup, bup. This one will be about there. And then measuring stick can go away for now. Uh, let's go back here. Let's hip and hip. That's just, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to draw one circle there for now. <laughs> it doesn't look like a... Nope, 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 nope. We're going to meet. We are mature. This <laughs> mature. Oh my god, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw him up there a bit more. Um, let's just pretend I never said anything just now. This is gonna go over here. Shoulders, shoulder time. Actually, no, not shoulder time yet. It is torso time. Torso. Um, we're gonna go forward a bit. Back of the torso. This is like a semi profile view for the torso, at least. So it'll be kind of like that. Imagine it's like it's just a pillow on its side. See, I'm getting better at talking. I say pillow now. I always used to say pillow. It's because I live where I grew up. We say pillow, and we say milk, and we say I don't. I actually don't know what the fancy way of almond is. Is it almond or almond? Almond sounds fancy to me, but I think a lot of people say, "Oh, you like almond? Al almonds? Almonds? Nah." <laughs> And then I, I don't know. Um, what am I doing right now? I'm trying to, okay, I'm drawing the caricature of myself without trying to make myself look like a bootylicious lady. Um, okay, so generally the uh, arm that goes back will be opposite of the hip that goes back. So this will be the back hip. Front hip will be here. Um, what in the world? <laughs> so, so I totally drew a uh, a little like a super fast sketch prior to this video. Actually, prior to yesterday's attempt at this video, and then uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this great, and it's gonna be wonderful, and then. Wait, what am I talking about? I just went off completely different tangent that doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm gonna just pretend I never started talking and just draw the middle line down here. Draw this line, which will go down there. So, top of the torso is spinning in this direction. And the bottom of the torso spins down in that direction. So, clockwise and counterclockwise. Even though this is a two-dimensional sheet of screen paper, so it doesn't really, I don't know. Anyway, right arm 
It's gonna be going back. Bloop. Bloop. There. And there's the wrist. Pop. 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 Gotta make sound effects or it doesn't work. And then this goes here. And then this goes here. This is the elbow, by the way. It's behind him. Okay. And then here is the forearm. And then we have fists because fists somehow, for me, are harder to draw than open hands. But we'll get through this together. And then hand, and then that goes there. And this hand is also a fist that goes there, and then here, and here, and here, and here, and here. See, there's my teaching style. And then you do this, and then you follow up with this, and then you draw that over there. And then I talked too much, and now my mouth is dry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then this goes there. Yeah! And now he looks like a lima bean. Not a lima bean, just a bean. Okay, right arm is going back, so which means right leg goes forward. Oh my gosh, I actually did. I completely deserted my other story, which I was telling about uh, when I first started doing this video and I made my uh, little template like a preview drawing, which is on my secondary screen on the left, over there. And in the characters that I drew, it's a, uh, the right arm and right leg are both back, which, you know, have you ever tried walking with your right arm going in the same direction as your right leg? So you end up waddling, right? It's like big waddles as if you like have a cast on your shoulders and pelvis. And it just looks really weird and it feels really weird and people laugh at you and like, ah, 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 everything feels funny. And then, uh, yeah. Anyway, my character, I'll just bring it over, can't I? I'll just bring it over a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. See, look, right arm, right leg. Okay, and who? Time to draw sad eyes, oh not sad eyes, just crazy eyes. <laughs> uh, with tears streaming down the face from the top. So this guy gets a lot less definition in his face because he's not worthy. Um, this is completely besides the point of a regular tutorial. This is just me talking and... Well, when are my tutorials ever, like, focused? And, no. no never is the answer to that question. It was rhetorical. Rhetoric. So, this is the jogging... ...pose. Um, let's flash this out. Remember the right leg is forward. So we have that happening. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to shorten these legs because it makes me look tall. I'm not actually super tall. Bump. Boop. And boop. And boop. And as a last thing, let's make sure that I'm at least a little taller than her. Because I'm gender I'm what am I? 5'10? 5'10? Yeah. So that's where I am. Um silence is a thing. So much silence. So that was editing. This is why uh, I was glad that <laughs> my computer was working again, because if I tried to do that with a piece of paper, I would have failed miserably. And then I'd be like, oh, why? Life is so hard when I can't do tutorials. When I actually want to, because this is rare that I get the, uh, the time and the energy to do these. 
so I've like yesterday it actually really brought me down I was sad legitimate sadness was flowing through my feels and I was <laughs> I was just like I'm gonna go take a shower and go to sleep now because I can't deal with the disappointment of not doing a tutorial when I want to <laughs> it's like it's like I don't know you you win the mental lottery and then you don't have a wallet for your winnings. So you just watch them disappear. And you're like, oh, that's sad. It's like Pokemon when you, you uh, the, there's that meme where it's like, oh, the Pokemon that you see, the very first one when you battle and you're like, oh, I gotta save Professor Oak or Professor Elm or whoever's getting saved right now. And then like that Rattata or Puchiana or something or is shiny. And you're like, oh, sad. I don't have Pokemon yet. I can't catch it. It's like that. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I can't apologize enough. There's so many things to be sorry for in this video. Besides just me. Um, what am I doing? Uh, oh my gosh. I forgot something completely. It is called... Hips. Hips do moving, move, move, moving. <laughs> uh, when you take a step, and you're the 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 leg that you take a step with, that hip will raise a bit. So in this case, I think this hip is lowered a teeny bit, but I think I lowered it a bit too much. So I'll do this, and this, Control D, erase this unsightly lineage. And you and I can just pretend that it didn't happen. Okay, I got scared for a second. I was like, have I been recording or not? Because sometimes I just do this. I just talk for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes in, in, in this case. I actually have no idea how long this segment is. But uh, I do that and then it's just horrible because I, there's, there's this, I've been literally talking to myself because the software is not running and then just sad and then I cry inside just a little bit here okay we are going to speed through the rest of this until I get to like uh, certain parts of the clothes or maybe I'm done I'm not sure okay see you And we're back okay so it looks like I have finished all of the sketch parts um, I'll finish it up in a sped up portion in a little bit but uh, for now I'll just go over what we've done here so in the sprinting girl we have uh, a lot of motion happening right there you see the center of gravity is fairly far forward maybe over her leg or maybe even over it uh, this front leg at least and uh, yeah she's actually like over the 45 degree angle from the horizontal ground so she's she's leaning forward pretty hard just uh, going full blast and also the uh, the arms are either they're close to horizontal with the uh, or perpendicular I guess to her torso because uh, <clears throat> you know you pump your arms pretty hard when you sprint as opposed to this guy who's a slack and slacker he's actually leaning back a little bit and that shows that it's a more leisurely run or in this case pathetic um, and uh, the arms are nowhere near as uh, exaggerated as in angles as hers and also the legs are you could essentially be standing in this position like if this knee was down 
you could just be walking. But this one is up and uh, actually where is that? Let's just mark where his heel is touching. Kind of a shadow to show where he is. Just like this one. And uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to get the motion in there, just make sure that the hair and loose clothing is flowing behind. As uh, I don't really have long hair. Actually, my hair is a lot bit shorter than this right now, and it's actually gelled up because work. Um, but whoop, you know, it comes up and stuff. Ooh, actually, clothes. Can't forget the dangly thingies. Yay, dangles. You never forget the dangle thingies. It goes into all of my food all the time, though. And it makes me really sad because I, I'm getting better at remembering to not lean over my food when I have hoodies with dangles on them. But it, <laughs> I just can't. I can't get it through my head that that's what happens. It's like physics or something, gravity and stuff. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it, it loves soup. It loves uh, gravies of any type. And I also forgot to draw a little part of the hoodie. Boop, 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 boop. I got this hoodie for Christmas. It's nice having different clothes every now and then. Because I'm like one of those people who just wears the same thing. Oh, well, I mean, like... I changed my clothes. I wear different socks and underwear each day. But uh, my jeans, they're all blue. All my jeans are blue. There's no excitement there. Um, and I wear a jacket or hoodie over my, over, <laughs> over my shirt, which is also different each day, but I, I'll wear it couple times before washing it. I don't I, I don't have to explain my laundry tendencies on the interwebs when I don't have to. I'm not forced to. So. But yeah, that's uh I don't know why I started talking about that. I just started talking because I could um Oh, because I like my new hoodie, I guess. Yeah, it feels nice. Look, there's this is the thing. That's that's right there. Bam. Get shaded. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, leisurely jog run, hyperactive sprint sprint, um, quit slacking off, make more tutorials, I have excuses, I always have excuses, it's, uh, I'm tired, I'm lazy, I haven't had food, I have homework, I don't have homework anymore because graduation, uh, but I do have a job now, which means more tired than usual and less time in the day, and uh, I'm getting old, I'm tired do an adult I'm not I'm never gonna be an adult you understand that right everyone understands that <laughs> but I will be just as adultish as I need to be in order to exist and live and pay bills and stuff oh pay bills I gotta do that one no I mean like now <laughs> oh no YouTube everybody why I... oh, I'm getting old okay anyway um yeah so I will finish up the rest of this drawing down there, down there, down th all these two people. Uh, outline, color, I'm gonna try out a different technique than usual just because I actually haven't outlined and colored in like months and months. So I figured why not try a new technique then when I don't even remember the old one. So that's gonna happen. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, you'll see that. I'll probably keep making more videos soonish. Uh, I actually, yeah, I'm gonna be fairly unemployed in a couple days, so we'll see where that leaves me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them below and I will get to them eventually. I really will. Uh, if if you're not a non-English speaker and you want to leave a comment and do the Google Translate, uh, try it. And then if I asked you to repeat the question, please just 
I don't know, rephrase it and translate it again, and then, then I'll try again. I don't know. But I can generally make out what people are saying. I will try to help as much as I can. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching my video. Uh, yeah, this is Budgies Are Cool. Take care, Happy New Year, and goodbye.